tips I would give a new writer when perhaps pitching work to producers, I would say, number one, interrogate your first draft. <laughs> so wherever you write, I think feedback is a breakfast of kings and we do ourselves a disservice if we don't receive feedback from people. Sit with someone and get them to interrogate your work or get into a room with actors and get them to try your work and see what else you can discover. And I just think there's something about honouring the creative process and really not being afraid of editing that work, however precious it might be, before presenting it to a team of producers. Because fundamentally, it's going to boil down to, do they connect with the story? Are they willing to fund it? Will it make money back? The best advice I've ever been given about how to pitch something to someone is to, when you're writing something, find the Robertson squash concentrate version of what you're trying to say, like reduce it down to like the tiniest, the, the most basic version of what it could be, one sentence, and find that. Because when you find that, you know the story that you're telling. Ultimately, when you're pitching, what you want to do in the two, three minutes that you have is you want to tell people, this is the heart of my story and this is why you should care. So if you can find the baseline, then you can pitch it to anyone. The best way to kind of get a, a picture across is to show, don't tell. If you send somebody a script, I'm going to be honest, man, nine times out of ten, people just don't have the time to read unsolicited uh, scripts. Whereas you, if you put a, a reading on, you know, something that I used to do is I'll just save up. I'll save up a bit of money and get two or three actors in for a day. We do a reading, we film it. People are more inclined to see that or to see bits and pieces. Uh, something that I, I do even now when I'm pitching is um, Pinterest boards, you know, visual, visual, visual. And you can see within a second what this play, what the scenery, if you see um, any of my plays, they all have a Pinterest board um, that is attached with them. So automatically a commissioner or a producer goes, okay, I can see the aesthetic of it. I can see what Ryan's vision kind of looks like. Now let me pick up the script and get uh, a little bit more. I think writers have it really hard because you don't get a monthly pay. You often write shows until you know, you've, you've reached draft 10 without seeing a cent. And I think that's incredibly hard for writers of colour who are trying to write from vulnerable experiences who don't have therapy support, who don't have monetary support and financial support. The advice I would give writers is don't be afraid to pitch an idea at its beginning. Don't feel like you need to have a finished script before pitching an idea to be a producer, a director, a company, be it nouveau riche. If it's something you feel passionate about, you will have enough information and that passion will come through. When you approach anybody about supporting your work, you have to believe in your work more than anybody else. So if, you are, if, there's, a, if there's a kernel of doubt in you about the quality of your work, or about what you're saying, again, interrogate it some more and just get to the point where you really believe in what you're selling or believe in what you're presenting. Because if we don't, or if I don't, or if you know any, anyone else listens to this, if you don't, people, why, why should anyone else believe in it? How do I overcome imposter syndrome? The real answer is, I don't know. Because <laughs> like, you're gonna find people who have been in this game for so long that are still gonna step out on a stage and feel fear or feel as if they don't deserve to be in that space. But I think the thing that you can use to counteract that, like I'm a big believer in what you put out is what you're gonna get back. Um, so if you do feel imposter syndrome and then you're telling yourself, you know, I'm not good enough, I don't deserve to be in this space, um, why am I here? That is going to lessen your ability to be able to believe in yourself because that's what you're putting out there. Look around you, take in what you're doing and give yourself a pat on the back. I'm excited by artists that go, um, I've got a concept and I want to R&D how this story is going to be told because at this moment in time, I do not know. That's what kind of, you know, gets me excited at Nouveau Riche. Um, people that want to push the boundaries. We're looking for work that is exciting, that is expressive, that is experimental. We're looking for work that uh, kind of puts a middle finger up to uh, Western storytelling and looks back at different storytelling from uh, various different cultures over various different times um, and kind of says we're going to make work in whatever way that this work wants to be told.